Hi Pisces, it's Sloan Rhodes here with your Life, Purpose, Career and Money reading for January 2020. Pisces, you're my last one. <laughs> last but not least. So, you know, I haven't done these readings in a long time, um, so I thought it'd be a fun way to kick off uh, 2020 by offering them to everybody. So I hope that you enjoy it, Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising. Today I'm going to be drawing one card from the Money and the Law of Attraction deck by Esther and Jerry Hicks as the overarching theme. Three cards from the Life Purpose deck by Doreen Virtue. And taking a peek at your money, Pisces, we're going to be drawing one card from the Money Tarot by Eugene Vanitsky. Sorry, my cat is wandering around. Okay, Pisces, let's go ahead and get started. What are the messages for Pisces for January 2020? Around their life purpose, career, money. Okay, here we go. I can deliberately choose to feel better now, number 10, under the deck, my attention to it invites the essence of it, number 32, number 5. So we have a 5 and a 10, so I add 32 together, um, equals 5. The main card here, I can deliberately choose to feel better now. She's playing a musical instrument, she's very present. So what does that mean? You know. I can choose. I can deliberately choose to feel better now. It's about being conscious of your thoughts. It's about being conscious of where you are spending your time and your attention. Right? My attention to it invites the essence of it. Um, under, the, under that, we have. I have. I can have money and freedom too. Um, someone else got this card today. I don't remember who it was. No, I can't remember. Um, so I can deliberately choose to feel better now. What does that mean? It sounds so simple. Why don't we all do it, right? Well, you are in process of grounding yourself more in this energy because we have number 10. So you're approaching the end of this cycle where you have been learning this lesson. I can deliberately choose to feel better now by how I think about what I'm doing in the moment. Not about what's to come. It's not about thinking positive thoughts about the future, although you can certainly do that. And that does help you feel better now. But it's about being for you, as I feel at Pisces, about choosing to feel better now by appreciating what you have here, what your attention goes to in your present environment. Now you may be like, it's all crap, I don't want what's in my present environment, but you breathe, right? You have your beautiful creative soul, you have your beautiful sense of self, you have the sky and the earth, the animals, the insects. There's much more abundance in your present moment than you could ever begin to imagine if only you could draw your attention to it. Spend a little time being conscious of it. So many times we feel awful because we get caught up in what happened in the past or what's going to come in the future because very rarely is it something positive. <laughs> you know, the ego likes to keep us in the, the energy of lack and scarcity and anxiety. You know, not because the ego is bad or good, of course, but because that's where the ego thrives and gains its strength. But you can begin to um, shift to more of the heart-centered energies by choosing to feel better now, by saying, am I open to feeling better now? In this moment, at work, am I open to feeling better now? Am I open to seeing the beauty or the love in what's occurring right now? And even by asking the question, you begin to recognize that it's your choice, that you are not a victim of your circumstance or the job that you have or your money, right? Am I open to seeing the beauty in my work um, cubicle, <laughs> you know? No, I'm not. Okay, well, you've made that choice. It's your choice, though. You begin to play these little games with yourselves to expand your experience of life so you don't just get caught like I'm I'm the victim of this, and I have no choices. That person smiled at me. That felt good. I smiled at someone else. I held the door open for someone. That felt good. I'm a part of humanity. You know, it's your choice how you, how you do it. Do this game of life. How you spend your time, how you spend your day, how you spend your moment, really. Not about, I would even encourage you, uh, Pisces, to not worry about your day, but the moment. In this moment, can I? am I open to feeling better? Oh well, yeah, I guess. I guess my work's not terrible. Okay, if it's not terrible, 
are you open to it actually being pretty cool? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I get a paycheck, you know. I earn money. I'm earning money in the world. I'm part of society. That's pretty cool. I can take care of myself through the money I earn. That's amazing. You know, and you can play with it like that. I'm not going to go into it too long because it's already five minutes. <laughs> I'm trying to keep all of these videos around 15 minutes. So you get the message, right? I can deliberately choose to feel better now. That is a message for you, Pisces. My attention to it invites the essence of it. If you are putting your attention on what feels good, you are amplifying the essence of that, which is basically love, appreciation, yeah. gratitude. And when you're spending your time with that, you just feel better. Even if your circumstances are seemingly identical to what they were five minutes ago, you suddenly feel a lot better. And as you feel better, you begin to observe less of the lack, less of the scarcity, less of the things that make you sad. You're not in denial, but you are choosing to amplify the energy of what makes you feel good. And that attracts like energy. But you're not doing it for that, you're just doing it to appreciate. <laughs> but the mind likes, the <laughs> likes to know the sequential nature of things. Okay, Pisces, let's go ahead and keep going. So I'm gonna get three cards from the Life of Purpose deck, past, present, future for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you don't know your uh, rising sign or your moon sign, you can go to astrotheme.com and uh, you can find that out for free there if you have your uh, city of birth and your birth date, or your uh, time of birth. Pisces, past, present, future. Artist, engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career in every other area of your life. It's in the recent past. Career change, right in the center. You're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you desire and deserve. Family, in the future, near future. Loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. And I would say it is central to your sense of purpose. Under the deck we have travel. Your life purpose involves traveling. It may be that you have been traveling recently, just out of the holidays. Um, it may be that you have been traveling for work um, in the recent past as well. It's an underlying energy. It may be something that you just do in general um, in the next few months, you know. I never like to think of... Uh, I don't often like to think of your life purpose as something that is forever, you know, because it's very limiting. My life purpose is to be an artist. Well, <laughs> uh, I prefer that your sense, your sense of purpose in the world is to engage in artistic activities. It's, there's, there's a subtlety there, but it's important because one is limiting and the other is um, more expansive. All right, so we have artists in the recent past. Engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every other aspect of your life. This is important for you, Pisces, because you are a very artistic, beautiful, soulful water sign. And it, it doesn't matter if you are earning money with it. Being artistic, expressing yourself in some sort of creative endeavor, is extremely powerful and part of your, gives you a sense of purpose in the world. When you are feeling more purposeful in your moments, you begin to live a more purposeful life. Um, I did do a podcast episode on life purpose. There's a link here if you want to listen to it. Um, so for you, Pisces, in the recent past, it may be that you've been spending more time in some sort of artistic activity. It may be that you are some sort of artist, maybe a makeup artist, maybe uh, uh, a muralist, um, maybe you're a sculptor, maybe, you know, whatever. There's so many different ways you can be an artist. You can be a, uh, an artist in terms of being an actor or a producer, this kind of thing. So there's a lot of different ways it can come in. But it isn't kind of the recent past position, but in the, career, in the center of this reading, in the more present moment, we have this idea of career change. You're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you desire and deserve. It may not be, for some of you, that you actually change careers. It may be that you change the way you feel about the career that you're currently doing. Based on this other card, I can deliberately choose to feel better now. There's a change that's occurring here. Again, we have number five, as I mentioned, this idea of change. We have number 10, ending a cycle. So there is a change. And I want to say it again. For some of you, it's not that you're changing careers. It's changing the way you feel 
and express yourself within the career that you currently have. For some of you, you actually are completely changing your career. Maybe you're having a family <laughs> for some of you. And, you know, so you are you used to be this. Now you're going to be um, having children, this kind of thing. Maybe you're getting married, all of that. Now, for some of you, it may be that you just decide to do go into a family business as well with a family card. Or you are going into a, a, maybe you've been more of a solo artist here, and the career change is that you're going into something that's more collaborative or going into a company where you have um, more co-workers, so it feels like a family. It can play out in a lot of different ways because this is a general reading, so I'm reading for you know many people. So. Um, for you, it's important that you trust yourself and how this um, plays out in your life. Um, but then in the near future, going into late January, early February, we do have family as the focus. Loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose and I would say to your sense of purpose in the world. You like to be connected to family. You're a deeply emotional, soulful sign and having your family around you gives you a sense of groundedness. It gives you a sense of um, validation, a place in the world. So it's very important to you that either you have your family around you um, as you go into the end of this this January or that you um, are starting a family um, or that you are going into a company or working in a company where it feels like a family or you have your friends around you more or you work with friends, this kind of thing. Family doesn't have to be your family of origin, it could be the family that you choose for yourself like your friend group and this kind of thing. Um, a lot of change energy for you here, Pisces, which is kind of cool to see. All right, let me go, let me go ahead and get the uh, the money cards, and then I'm going to close out your reading, Pisces. It's very exciting that career change. Change can be scary, so remember it's always your choice. You know, you can feel good about it in the moment. doesn't mean that you won't have moments where you don't feel good about it, but when you invite in more curiosity and more questions, am I open, you know, to seeing the good in this? Am I open to feeling better about this? You take yourself immediately out of victimhood and you put yourself into um, curiosity, you know, fascination with your life as you are creating it. For money for Pisces, what is the message for January 2020? Now you know I'm not a financial advisor. I'm looking at your money from the spiritual perspective. Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah. <laughs> well, there may be an air sign individual who's involved in your money. Um, doesn't have to be, <coughs> excuse me, but with the Queen of Swords in reverse around your money, how do I want to say this? It may be that there's something going on with your money where there was something that occurred in the past and either you or someone else is determined that that was the way that um, it always is. <clears throat> now it could be that someone didn't, you forgot to pay someone back and they're convinced that you never pay them back. It's always been like this. When the Queen of Swords is in reverse, she's as an individual rather than just an energy. Um, she's very concerned with words like always and never, right? She has to be right even in the face of, of new evidence. So it may be someone like that who's around you your money. It could be an old boss. You never do overtime, <laughs> you know. Um, what do you mean? I do it all the time. You know, rather than get engaged into an, an argument like that, just be like, well, do you, you know, because they're not open in that moment to seeing things differently. They're very set on what happened in the past. So, you know, just move forward as smoothly as you can. If it is just an energy around your money, not necessarily an individual with your money, um, it could be some old bill or old accounting error that comes back in January and needs to be addressed and try not to get emotional about it. It may seem unreasonable. There may be a hefty um, uh, 
penalty or something like that. Certainly you can try to negotiate, but this person or this energy is not super negotiable. So it may be something like that that comes in in January. Nothing to be afraid of. You can certainly handle it, um, but something to be aware of. So anyway, I hope you find that helpful, Pisces. I wish you much love as always, and I will see you on the next video or uh, your own private reading, which you can book on the website, sloanrose.com. And you can listen to this on the podcast. And I wish you a very happy new year and um, much love to you.